Hey everybody, it's Rob Holman, Northwest Fisherman Reports. We're here for the Wendell Ford test drive giveaway fishing trip with some special guests, guide Steve Morris. We're at Kettle Falls, way up north in Washington. Uh, gonna go after walleye, keep watching. It's gonna be a great show. Steve, what do we got going today? So today we're going to be walleye fishing and we're going to be using a slow death hook and a worm uh, with just a bead. So that's been the hottest by far. We are going to try a few smile blades uh, just to see how they will do. It varies day to day so we'll give it a go. Steve, you've been getting good numbers of fish but you're saying the average size is what, 15, 16 inches? Oh, I wish they were that big. So the, the average size is more 13, 14 and you're looking for the bigger ones that are, you know, 15 to 17. All great eaters though, right? All great eaters. The small ones even eat great. Yep. Awesome. We got a bottom walker for folks at home. and Three ounce bottom walkers. Okay. And it's on a slider so the fish can bite and they don't have to move the sinker. Got it, yeah. And then this, uh, there's a little curve to this hook, and we're going to push a worm up there, and that makes it spin. Okay, there you go. Alright, we're breaking the ice. There we go, kids. Oh, nice job. Yeah, yeah. Hey, baby. We've got a winner. Ooh, ooh. A little wally. Boom. Boom. Nice job. Yeah, we broke the ice. Well, first fish of the day. It's a little small, but very tasty. Yeah. Very, very tasty. That'll be delicious. That'll be delicious. <laughs> One taco right there. All right, we broke the ice, everybody. And it gives me a great opportunity to introduce our guest today on the boat. Uh, we, is Abby? Yes. We got Abby and Ralph. And I, I don't want to butcher your guys' last name. Oscarson. Oscarson. Yeah. Abby and Ralph Oscarson are winners of the Wendell Ford Test Drive Contest. They're out here today with us. Uh, are you guys having fun so far? It's awesome. Gorgeous day. Beautiful area. You can't go wrong. Caught the first fish. Sorry, boys. Yeah. Well, no, we're glad you did. Otherwise, this might have just kept <laughs> going, you know? <laughs> You got it going, Aaron. Well, fish number two, hopefully. We'll see here. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a bourbon. 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 Nice. Those are supposed to be super eating. They are, they are super eating. They are. A little stinky. Like yeah, a little tasty. A little tasty though, definitely. Yeah. Yep. A lot of tasty. Excellent. Good job. Good start to the day. Me. Steve. Yes. What can you tell us about burbot? Uh, the only thing that I really know about the burbot is they're deep water, cold water fish. Yeah. Uh, they are native to the area, unlike the walleye, which is invasive. Okay. Uh, they're a fairly good eating fish. Um, they don't freeze real well. So right. I recommend when you catch a burbot, you eat it, you know, fairly quickly. All right. Uh, but a lot of people look at them as like a poor man's lobster. Okay. Uh, and they're they're pretty tasty. Great. Yeah. I'll fish on. I'll have a burbot sandwich for dinner tonight. Oh, another fish on. I don't know for sure. I so when, hit the when, bottom. Steve, when do you target burbot? So burbot's more of a wintertime fish. So they like deep. Uh, 70 to 100 foot deep, usually, uh, most of the time with jigs in the wintertime. I don't think there's anything on Is it unusual to catch them 
walleye fishing? It's not unusual. We seem to catch a few just about every day. When you get a little bit deeper, 60, 70 feet. You'll... So this is a quite a bit smaller. This is pretty, pretty typical though. Uh, Lake Roosevelt is just absolutely choked full of little fish like this. Uh, but they are very tasty. Well, he's getting one now. You got him. That one's on. All right, nice. Slam. Rip those lips off. <laughs> oh, I hope they're fighting each other. That'll just be the best. He's there. There he is. He's there. See that? That's why we right use a, That's we why we use a net. Yeah. Yep. So these walleyes, to make them a little better table fare, I like to bleed them, uh, and I just stick my finger in and just pull a gill out. Uh, instead of using a knife or anything like that, and then I just stick them in the bag and they'll, the meat will be nice and clean and blood free. This feels like a better fish here. I must have reset my line counter because I'm at, there you go. All right. It's like good looking bourbon there. Oh, yeah. there. Ooh, that's a nice bourbon. Nice fish, honey. Grab that sinker if you would. Here you go. Thank you. So, you this is a, a little nicer burbot. They are a beautiful fish. Nice Neat looking people. thing. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Pounded it. Mm. Nice fish. What we did here, we're at, we're at the mouth of the Deschutes. The fishing's been kind of tough for us. We've seen some other fish get caught. Um, we've been just going through the gear, running through the gear, trying different things. We finally found something that works, and of course, I've only got one of it. So what I'm doing right now is going through the box and trying to change out what we were using, and we're switching over to a pink Uchi with a Hildebrandt spinner blade, all copper, and that was what caught the last fish. So. If you guys out there don't get discouraged if you're not getting fish, um, just keep tweaking your setup and try to get them to bite. That's all you can do. And uh, by being diligent and sticking with it, it's gonna help you to get more fish in your boat. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it out. I gotta go on this side. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, that's good. So, uh, Steve, you've got us in front of the Colville River. Yes, definitely. So Colville comes in right there. Uh, the water coming in is about 51 degrees, maybe a little warmer than the main river. Uh, so that's why we're here. See if there's a few fish filtered in. So the, the warmer water, do you think, is uh, is a place to target these walleye? Definitely, yeah. It uh, it warms them up, gets them into feeding a little better. Okay, for sure. Yep. And this time of year, we're a little bit post spawn, you said, or in the mm, end we're kind of, of it. We're kind of right in the middle of it. So oh, okay, uh, some of the fish are spawned out and you know a bunch of them still have to spawn uh, but it's getting closer I think it's interesting because we're in 60 feet of water and we're using bottom walkers definitely yep and, and, and that's kind of deep for for this technique well you got to fish where the fish are mm -hmm. uh, and there that's where they are right now uh, I don't know if it's because of water temperature or food but they seem to be in a little deeper water right now if you were to dial in a new area, are you looking for inlets uh, like the, the rivers, the mouths of the rivers here in, in Lake Roosevelt? It's definitely a good place to start. Uh, rock piles and uh, just big, long, you know, gradual flats. slopes. Okay, yeah. slopes and flats. Yeah. Cool. Right on. Thanks for, I, I had to say that. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, honey, yours was bigger. <laughs>
Move it. Very cool looking fish. Yes, they are. Very tasty. Steve, you're going to show us how to fillet those a little bit later? I will. Yep, at the end of the day. Yep. Do you feel like there are people watching you, Abby? Just a few. <laughs> <laughs> There better be a fish on the end of the line. That's all I'm saying. There's a fish. There he is. I would oh. never reel in without a fish. Uh, that's never happened to me. Woo! Okay. And a release. So yeah, welcome to Northwest Fish Reports with Abby. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's still there, Steve. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a little guy. A little better. Another good eater. That's a good one. That's an eater all day. Thank you, sir. Hot blade for the day. <laughs> you like to fish? I love to fish. Yes, I do. We fish, well, whenever we can. So the wind is blowing the opposite direction now, so we're going to pick up and we're going to move down the river on the other side to get out of the wind, and it's a good spot. There's a lot of fish in there, so. You were saying that's called Bradbury? Bradbury, yep. Okay. It's down in the Bradbury area. Okay. Yep. The Bradbury town. It's the Bradbury Boat Launch. Bradbury Day Use Area on Lake Roosevelt. Oh, okay. Yep, great. I think that's the green small blade. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, I on Steve. You just moved us over. Yeah, that's great. That didn't take long. Get out of the wind and into the fish. Is he still there? I hope so, because we sure <laughs> made a big deal out of it. <laughs> that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Boom. Are we still fishing? Can I drop yeah. her back? Oh down? yeah, drop it back down. All right. I think we're fine now, aren't we? It was definitely yeah, fish for a moment. There. Yeah, you got there. a fish on that. Get out of the way. Woo! Woo! That's a nice one. That's a good little fish. Right. I'm glad he didn't jump out of the boat, Mark. What's up? Just a red bead. You can be oh, man. Max Smile Blade. Thank you, Max. Slow death hook. <laughs> and a night crawler. This looks like a good one, so just take your time. Just remember, you're not in a race. Okay. It's not just the weight this time, guys. I promise. <laughs> it's actually a fish. Don't even say that. Nope, you got him. Okay, now just pick straight up. Nice and easy. But he's a fish. Boom, um, thank Good you. Good job. <laughs> oh, two in the net. It's heating up. So, if you notice here, Abby, uh, her bait, her little offering, the walleye took a chunk of it, missed the hook, because you got this free spinning piece out here that twirls and that's pretty common huh it is pretty common yep you have to let them take it so you really want the walleye to eat their way up that worm definitely yep and one of the one of the uh, things that happens is they they might not get into the hook so we'll just when this happens though Steve we want to um, we want to put a new worm on right definitely, you're yeah. you're don't skip on worms that's the most important part of the bait we want that out there spinning Thanks, Abby, for letting me borrow your, your bait. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> it's the Abby this, Show today on not... Northwest Fisher of Florida. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Another one? <laughs> this one feels a little better, Rob. Is it a nice one? It's an eater. We're going to call him a another, good eater. Another eater. Another taco. <laughs> yeah, it's so much bigger than the bourbon you caught. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good looking fish. There's the winner. Nice. Good job, Abby. Yeah. You, Your enthusiasm. <laughs> well, the smile blades are making the difference because when I, sw I didn't catch any fish and then I put the smile blade on, I've got three. It's oh, okay. Yeah. I put a smile blade on and haven't caught one since. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that is, do you know what we're doing here? <laughs> I we'll have to edit you out now. <laughs> One of our biggest Get sponsors. with the program! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. All right. Uh, no. Everybody, everybody but Ralph will be back right after this. <laughs> when, you'll hear the splash. <laughs> you'll hear the splash. And then we'll go. Uh oh. Oh, that is, that is a beauty. <laughs> okay, he, uh -huh. he can't harass Abby uh -oh. anymore about that. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> that's nice, that's Aaron. Okay, you you Aaron. were saying something about the quantity or quality of the fish I've caught, sir? Aaron, can we get a picture of you with that fish? Absolutely. That, that is the winner. That you got it way out in front of you. You can make that thing look big. I'm going to. Oh, you're gonna need to back up. <laughs> you're gonna need to back up. <laughs> There's to not enough boat to make that fish look big. Wow. <laughs> Boom. Really, you gotta, uh, what are we doing with this young, is fine he, young if man? If he's not bleeding, we're gonna let him go. I don't see if any he, blood. If he's, okay. No blood. No blood. All right, buddy. The crypts. There you go. The Off he goes. He gone. So, so there's a there's a trick here. They got a lot of pokey things, right? While our spiny rays, but there's a couple spots you got to be careful of. I see, oh, you got gloves on, but the gloves don't really help them. So they have <laughs> teeth. Well, they got teeth, and then they have these this gill plate right here on the side of them. There, right there's like a razor blade. It is just sharp. And it will cut you. So don't stick your fingers in the mouth. Don't you know, stick them up the or up in the gills. Yep. I got permission. He, he got the... Okay, Ralph, I'm gonna have to step in there. We can't lose this one. Hey, for the record, I've lost no fish, Steve. I've only just drawn up blanks I, multiple I, times. No, that was very insulting, and I'm very the, offended. For the record, I didn't say you've lost any. I said we can't lose this one. <laughs> Going, pick straight up. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be playing here all day. <laughs> so what, what is going on? I don't think anything. Okay. Oh gosh, she's always trying to one up me. <laughs> Except she's. I think she's ten up me today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little one. I, I might win the little one. Are you gonna? Really Oh, it's not as little no, as... No, it's no, not. Aaron no. still has a little it's a taco. We got a taco for <laughs> He's got the piquito taco. Whoa! I'm really good at that. Yeah, yeah. His head is red. That's weird. Yeah. You know, it's probably because he came up from the bottom so Our deep. Burst? It's just a pressure inside there. Here's my first Boy, uh, Still there? Oh, I mean, not passing up elk. Yeah. 15, 14. All right. Yep. Just paying any attention to it, so that's the one that catches the fish. Slow down for a second. Lift and reel down. Here it comes, nice fish. Come on, come on. 
<laughs> a little too much lifting. Where's the one? Did you guys throw the one that she just caught in here? Yeah, it should all be in there. Yeah. There must be it right there. I don't think I bled the last one. Okay, well, I'm going to do this bigger one. I think. Okay. The burr bot. This is how I fillet burr it. I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way, but it's definitely my way. Cut around the head. Just try to cut just the skin. And then with a pair of skinning pliers, grab the skin and pull the skin off. And then the, the actual meat on a burbot is, there's not a ton for their size. So their ribs kind of go straight out to the side and I try to leave the ribs on the carcass. So basically that's what you get off of one side. Ralph, Abby, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Pretty good day. Abby, awesome you, you day. schooled us all. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Mark McKee as well for coming out. Thank Guide Steve Ron. Morris. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Aaron Borg, Michael, our camera guy. Uh, big thanks to Wendell Ford for the uh, giveaway. The yes, test thanks, yes, Wendell. Thank you, Wendell Ford. And uh, if you want to go fishing with Steve Morris, I highly recommend you get a hold of him at sjmguideservice.com. I'm Rob Holman for Northwest Fishing Reports. We'll see you on the water. Yay! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo!